23 Big Landscaping Ideas for Small Backyards Catherine Prideau works magic with small spaces in Tucson and other Arizona cities, infusing the colors of the sky, surrounding terrain, and nature into her landscape designs for patio homes and condominiums. She expertly fuses styles and materials, rejuvenating mid-century modern outdoor furniture, adding rustic materials, finding innovative uses for colorful tile, and incorporating sculptural forms and succulents. German Village in Columbus, Ohio, is a neighborhood of brick row houses built in the 1800s by German immigrants that has been undergoing preservation and revitalization since 1959. A small backyard in the district that had faded concrete pavers and an oversized iron table was transformed by Jacobs Grant Design into functional, enjoyable space for its new homeowners. Jacobs Grant divided the space into two areas, an outdoor living room and a dining area, surrounded by hornbeam and boxwood hedges to create intimacy and structure. Designed in collaboration with Potts Abilities, the spaces include brick and bluestone, materials used on the facade of the historic house. The owners of this small yard in the San Francisco Bay Area hired KL Designs to redesign their outdoor space to accommodate raised wood planters in which they can grow vegetables and herbs. Building raised beds allows the plants to grow in quality soil, keeps them away from city-dwelling critters, squirrels, mice, and provides easy access for maintaining the vegetables. For symmetry and organization, a patio made of irregularly shaped Arizona flagstone was replaced by designers' blue hibiscus gardens with rectangular bluestone tiles in an ashlar pattern. A matching side patio was added using base rock and pre-cut pavers. A cozy deck features built-in seating and a concrete top natural gas fire pit with prism fire glass. New plants include a Japanese maple and potosporum, silver sheen. With the children outgrowing the kid-oriented yard, a Brooklyn couple, both professors, decided to renovate the garden of their Brooklyn brownstone. With the help of Outside Space NYC, the backyard was divided into three areas with different levels. In this area of the yard, a geometric pergola provides shade and creates a comfortable seating area on the Ipe deck. Raised stacked stone beds are planted with a mix of low-maintenance shrubs, perennials, and ornamental grasses. The homeowner added a modern, lightweight outdoor sofa and coffee table for a mid-century feel. Another backyard in Brooklyn was redesigned by Amber Frida Landscape Design as a space for entertaining and relaxation. A bluestone patio, custom horizontal planter boxes with casters for mobility and fencing made of ipe complement the outdoor kitchen and seating area with a fire pit. Frida's challenge for this space, using the right plants for the widely varying pockets of sun and shade throughout the yard. In addition to a lush mix of flowering annuals and perennials, Frida used sweet potato vine, trumpet vine, Japanese maple, ornamental grasses, and dogwoods. Everything is equipped with automated low-voltage uplighting and drip irrigation lines. A stunning wood gazebo is the centerpiece of a backyard in the quaint town of Lidditz, Pennsylvania, designed by Fernhill Landscapes. With upholstery, pillows, and flowering plants that harmonize, the space is intimate and appealing. Besides Wrigley Field, the next best place to enjoy a Chicago Cubs game is your own backyard, right in downtown Chicago. Created by Reveal Design, the linear design features a patio was made with Technoblock pavers, Ipe, black steel and frosted glass fencing, aluminum powder-coated planters and fire table, an AA grill area framed with Ipe. Those illuminated orbs can be adjusted to change colors for holidays or sports on TV. Guided by the belief that gardens should blend seamlessly with the lives of their owners, Deborah Kucher of Green Alchemy created a casual outdoor space for a house in Berkeley, California, that features natural materials like stone along with plants that create a lush, private space. Simple, classic butterfly chairs and a fire pit are surrounded by angels' trumpet and lavender, among other growing things. Italian architect and designer Piero Lissoni created the namesake Villa Lissoni at the Ritz-Carlton Residences, Miami Beach, a seven-acre property with more than 100 condominiums and a limited collection of 15 standalone properties. 
This upscale condo features a small lush yard with tropical landscaping, including orchids, a private infinity pool, the property also has pools on site, and patios that are accessible via floor-to-ceiling glass doors. San Diego enjoys one of the most ideal climates in the United States, or anywhere, which is why the owners of this home in Encinitas sought assistance from Envision Landscape Studio to make the most out of their backyard space. Divided into zones or sections, the yard includes a lawn for pets and children, a fire pit with casual seating, a covered outdoor living room, a dining area, and water feature, all surrounded by low-maintenance landscaping. Peeking through the gate of a backyard in Providence, Rhode Island, remodeled by Bradford Associates, you can catch a glimpse of new fencing, a patio with lightweight furniture, and a raised bed that not only allows its owners to grow plants, but helps to screen an adjacent raised filtration area. For decades, lawns have been the go-to ground cover without anyone giving it much thought. That is, until the ongoing drought in California and other dry regions forced landscapers and homeowners to rethink water-guzzling grass and come up with alternatives. Dig your garden solution for the small yard of an older Spanish-style bungalow in San Anselmo, California, was to replace the grass with creeping thyme and other low-water ground covers and plants. A new Arizona flagstone pathway was added, along with a small patio that repeats the terracotta tones found elsewhere on the home's exterior. Tucked into a corner of a backyard, a composite decking bench was placed in front of a mature hydrangea bush to create an appealing nook. Designed by Peggy Craft of Hearts Ease Landscape and Garden Design in Toano, Virginia, the space features a bench that is set on a stone pad to create a level surface. Urns planted with annual color can be changed out seasonally. Symmetry, geometric design, and organization are often key to designing small backyards. Christie Weber Landscapes was inspired by this Chicago homeowner's recent interior renovation modern and using clean lines to extend living space to the yard. The patio is paved with bluestone with blue chip joints. A privacy fence is softened with Japanese maple trees, along with birch and spruce trees, while boxwood, rhododendron, arborvitae and pachysandra add year-round interest. Andrew Shepard of Magic Landscaping was tasked with creating a backyard for a historic home in Englewood Cliffs, New Jersey. The challenge, it had absolutely no backyard. What was there was about 20 feet deep and about 100 feet wide. The project's scope was to create interest, beauty, privacy, and intimate spaces so that the family could go outside and spend time together, says Shepard. What do you do when your house has no backyard? You borrow space wherever you can find it. In this case, landscape designer Catherine Bossler looked to the 560-square-foot front yard for this Los Angeles-area property. Inspired by the nearby coast, Bossler Earth Design added a wood deck painted in a distressed gray to create a living room with fire pit. An outdoor dining area and kitchen has decomposed granite DG, underfoot and features a grill and prep counter. Bossler also incorporated a tall fountain to mask street noise and attract birds, added built-in benches of wood and stucco, privacy hedges, and a trellis with jasmine for its appealing fragrance. Falling apart deck and a desire to get rid of their lawn prompted the owners of this San Francisco home to enlist Land Studio C measuring about 1,500 square feet. The backyard now features a hot tub with a custom bench and vertical planting, back corner, a fire table, built-in barbecue, corton, weathering, steel accents, and string lights. Yes, this is the same yard in the same fairly small space, designed by Land Studio for a house in San Francisco. Viewed from the middle of the yard toward the house, you can see the outdoor living room with the fire table, dining area, and small back porch. Sacramento-based design firm Change of Seasons was inspired by the dividers of a bento box for its remodel of a backyard that features stone lined sections or compartments to add interest and structure to an eco-friendly contemporary garden. Working with limited space, Beyond Landscaping was able to create a low-maintenance retreat in the backyard of a home in Toronto, Canada, that features a small fiberglass pool, composite decking, a horizontal fence for privacy, and artificial turf. The challenge, to design a backyard for a young family in San Francisco that could include room for dining and seating along with space for two little boys to let their imaginations run wild. 
Creo landscape architecture planted bluegrass and no mow fescue on a berm for the children to play, along with interactive sculptures. Creo used durable redwood to build the fence and bench, while Podocarpus plum pines provide softscape and privacy. When not in use, the kids' outdoor toys are stored in the redwood benches. Emma Lamb and her design team at a small green space specialize in small yards, the bulk of their clients are in Jersey County, New Jersey, and nearby New York City. This 16 by 11.5 foot urban backyard is shared by three condos, making it a challenge for the designers to access via three private flights of stairs that lead to the yard. Since there is no outdoor water supply, the plants chosen are drought tolerant. Among the upgrades to the neat, symmetrical design include Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.